Republican senators criticized the Democrats' plan to end tax breaks for America's largest oil companies at the Capitol on Tuesday, saying it will increase both the price of gasoline and America's dependence on foreign oil. The industry which the administration would seek to tax employs over 9.2 million people in the United States and represents 7.5 percent of our gross domestic product. As the leader said, and by the way, this is according to the Congressional Research Service, this will increase, the Democrat bill would increase the price of gasoline and it would make us more dependent on foreign oil. And so the question is, why would we want to support something that would literally export American jobs, reduce unemployment here at home, and raise the price of gasoline? So let me see if I can sum up the difference between the Republican plan for high gasoline prices and the Democratic plan for high gasoline prices. Uh, the Democrats want to raise gasoline prices by putting a tax on gasoline. So Republicans want to find more American energy and use less. Democrats want to find less and, you, and tax more. Majority Leader Harry Reid, however, says Republicans should stop defending oil companies. So I think that instead of defending oil companies, Republicans should be defending the American taxpayer. They should, I repeat, stop defending the oil companies, join with us, and cut the deficit by billions and billions of dollars, tens of billions of dollars. We believe this is the kind of wasteful spending that will lead to an agreement on reducing the debt. The Senate rejected the bill that would eliminate roughly $21 billion in tax breaks for America's five largest oil companies in a procedural vote on Tuesday. Nicholas Ballacy, CNSNews.com, The Capitol.